Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Temporal Forces Booster Bundle. Now this is a fairly new type of product, MSRP, for this box that includes six Temporal Forces Booster Packs, $26.94. I was able to get this from Collector's Cash for only $19.99. You can find a link to the website for Collector's Cash in the description of this video. Now something you'll notice with this particular booster bundle, it is a little bit wider and thinner than normal booster bundles. Actually, in my opinion, it makes it look like a Japanese booster box. So six booster packs and that is it inside this product for special expansions like 151 or Paldean Fates. A lot of times the booster bundles will be the best price per pack. Of course, with a main expansion like Temporal Forces booster boxes, the best price per pack. So Temporal Forces, of course, is the newest in the TCG right now, coming out March 22nd, 2024. It is already the fifth main Scarlet and Violet series set. So I'll take the plastic wrap off of the booster bundle and get right to the booster packs. Now, of course, this set is the first set in quite some time to feature A-Spec trainer cards. I think it's been since like 2013 with Plasma Blast that A-Spec trainer cards were in existence. So, take the plastic off of the back of the box. It actually looks like there's a plastic hook here where you could flip it up and hang it in store, sort of like the blaster boxes or the hanger packs really for sports cards. So here you go. And it looks like, just like the other booster bundles that normally pull this way, just like so, and the packs fell right out. So there you have it. There's how the packs go in, just like so. Now, of course, Temporal Force is based around two sets of trio Pokemon, the Swords of Justice, which is four Pokemon technically, but three of the four are future Paradox Pokemon, and then of course the Legendary Beasts from the Johto region. Those three are ancient Pokemon. Value-wise in this set, there's not a ton of value. About $60 is the most valuable card in the set. You're looking at the special illustration rares of essentially Entei, Raikou, Suicune, Tarakian, Verizian, and then the other one would be Cobalion. Of course, the paradox forms of those Pokemon. Six booster packs to open up. To this point in time, I still have not pulled a special illustration rare from one of these packs. I've read that the pull rates are very tough for those cards. 10 different special illustration rares in this set, six Pokemon, and then four trainers. First pack of the six starts with Drillbur. Relor, Ponyta, Shadot, Iron Jugulus, Lycanroc, Salvatore, Totodile, the first reverse hollow. This is the spot the A Spec trainer would come in. That type of card has a bright red border, so easily visible. Excadrill, the second reverse hollow, and then a Fluttermane as the final card. Of course, I've tried to open up all of the newly released products with Temporal Forces. I still have the three pack blister opening to do as of recording this video at least. Sometimes I record the videos and post them in a different order to YouTube. I actually took the day, a half day off from work and my daughter really likes to have me with her all the time. So took a half day from work and going to do my taxes here before the deadline this year. Bronzor starts this pack, the second pack. Mudbray, Ghastly, Finizen, Metagross, Roserade, Keldeo, which is not a Paradox Pokemon in this set, Electivire, the first reverse solo, second would be a Carvana, and the final card would be an Iron Leaves EX. So this card does have a very good ability to it. Rapid Vernier says, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may switch one, you may switch it with your active Pokemon. If you do, you may move any amount of energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. So essentially put it on your bench, set it up immediately, and then do 180 damage with Prism Edge. So a quick way to potentially knock out a Pokemon of your opponents. 
So a very good pull there. There are 15 different Pokemon EX available in this set. Technical rarity wise, technical term, double rare. Cobalion form now. I believe this is Iron Crown. Does have a very good ability on it if I was able to pull it as an EX. Cottony starts this one. Carvana. Ekans. Turtwig. Palafin. Screamtail. Heavy Baton. Fluttermane. Rabska. And the final card. Nice. A safe Cypher Maniacs code breaking. So one of six different, I believe. Let me take a look at my cheat sheet. Would be the Full Art Trainers. Yes, indeed, six total. Now, the one that I would like to pull the most would be Morty's Conviction. It features Gengar on it, but Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking, not a bad pull. Search your deck for two cards, shuffle your deck, then put those cards on top of it in any order. It would be so much better if you could just move those cards directly to your hand, but if your opponent doesn't mess with your deck the next turn, this would be a pretty good supporter, or if you have some type of draw mechanism that you can just draw the top two cards from your deck that wouldn't be bad either so two good pulls to summarize of course if you're short on time you can always skip to the end of the video and just see what i pull from six packs hoping for two good pulls so if i'm shut out from the last three packs here this is still a very solid build and battle box either a booster bundle in my opinion so dunspar starts this one snom pikachu scyther Iron Jugulus, Delmise, Electivire, Iron Hands, the first reverse solo, second would be a Frost Moth, and the final card would be a Bramble Ghast. There are lots of illustration rares in this set. I've had decent luck pulling some. I know there's a Ghastly that's pretty cool looking, has the complete evolution line on it. I've had good luck when it comes to the gold hyper rares in Temporal Forces. I've pulled two or three out now out of my openings. Poochiana starts this one. Wiglet. Arbok. Dot, Iron Valiant. Sandy Shocks. Rayoniclus. First reverse hollow would be a Ponyta. Second would be a Roserade. And the final card. Nice! A Wug Trio EX. And as a collector, I always do like the full art cards. Now this is a Terra type EX. That is why the background color is a little bit different. So Wug Trio EX. Not bad at all. So let's take a look at this card's first attack. Tricolor Pump. Discard up to three energy cards from your hand. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each energy card you discard it in this way. But uh, another card to set aside. Very, very happy with that pull. All right, on to the last pack. Not expecting much here, just because the pulls have been so good so far. Walking Wake, of course, one of my favorite Pokemon, just because it reminds me of my childhood in Suicune. Put a lot of time into Pokemon Crystal. Over a thousand hours. Sizzlepeed starts the final pack. Meryl. Golit. Elgem. Sinjino. Sableye. Great Tusk. Reverse all of a Mawile. Special illustration rare, hopefully. Oh, nice. A Cutie Fly, which is an illustration rare. And I do like a lot of the artwork on these illustration rares. Multiple Pokemon in the artwork looks really cool. And I like this card quite well. And then the final card would be an Iron Valiant. So pretty cool looking artwork on that card. Four cards to summarize from this booster bundle. And I would be interested in those that are watching this video. What is your favorite product from Temporal Forces? Or, or what type of product do you like to open up in general? Now of course for myself I like to open up booster boxes the best just because it has the most guaranteed pull rates and you know you're going to be going to get something good but a product like this could be hit could be miss in this case it certainly did hit and it hit pretty hard four out of six packs had something good so four cards to summarize like i said iron leaves ex qd fly and illustration rare the ex full art and wug trio and then a Full Art Trainer in the Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking. So there you have it. There's a look at the Booster Bundle 
from the temporal forces set again i did purchase this booster bundle from collector's cash for only 19 dollars 99 i would highly recommend their website link in the description of this video so thank you everyone for watching make sure before you go also to check out the patreon link i have in the description of this video and then the easiest things to do of course leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel so happy pokemon card collecting everyone thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos Thank you.